One of the most important blood tests following thyroid cancer treatment is measurement of thyroglobulin. Thyroglobulin is a protein that's made only by thyroid tissue, including most types of thyroid cancer. And we use it like a tumor marker for detecting thyroid cancer persistence and possible disease recurrence. Thyroglobulin is easily checked with a standard blood test and will generally be measured every six to 12 months after your initial thyroid cancer treatment. Thyroglobulin isn't useful if you have an unusual thyroid cancer known as medullary thyroid cancer. In that case, other tumor markers are necessary, and we'll discuss that in a separate tutorial. If you've had a thyroidectomy, and especially if your cancer has been treated with radioactive iodine, all remaining thyroid tissue should be gone. In that case, your thyroglobulin level should become undetectable. This usually occurs within 6 to 12 months after treatment, but can sometimes take longer. And an undetectable thyroglobulin is important. Along with additional testing like neck ultrasonography that we'll discuss in another tutorial, an undetectable thyroglobulin is one of the best ways to prove that you have no further evidence of cancer. Once thyroglobulin becomes undetectable, it should remain that way for the rest of your life. In some cases, thyroglobulin remains borderline detectable, and that's usually okay too, but if it remains elevated, and certainly if the thyroglobulin is rising over time, your doctor needs to investigate for possible cancer recurrence. What if you've had a partial thyroidectomy or had low-risk thyroid cancer that did not require radioactive iodine therapy? In those cases, thyroglobulin will likely remain low-level detectable. And that's okay because normal thyroid tissue also makes thyroglobulin. But if these levels rise over time, your doctor needs to investigate further. There are three important points about thyroglobulin testing that you should keep in mind. First, whenever your thyroglobulin is tested, your doctor needs to also check thyroglobulin antibodies. The reason is that thyroglobulin antibodies interfere with the most common lab assays for thyroglobulin. If thyroglobulin antibodies are present, which happens in about 25% of thyroid cancer cases, it doesn't mean you still have thyroid cancer, but it does mean your thyroglobulin has to be checked using a special reference lab method that may delay your results by a week or so. Second, thyroglobulin levels should always be checked in the same lab. The reason is that thyroglobulin tests are not standardized and there can be variation in the measured level depending on which lab you use. For instance, if you have your blood drawn at National Chain A, it's fine to go to any of their locations across the country because they'll always use the same assay method at all locations. What you shouldn't do is go to lab B and then try to compare results. Thyroglobulin levels that are undetectable in one lab may be low-level detectable in another, and seeing these numbers change can create lots of confusion. So find a lab that's convenient for you to use and stick with it. If you ever need to change, let your doctor know. You'll probably just need to re-baseline your thyroglobulin in the new lab, but can then use it in the future. And finally, thyroglobulin is useful for following papillary and follicular thyroid cancers, which represent about 85% of all thyroid cancer. However, less common cancers like medullary thyroid cancer don't make thyroglobulin, and follow-up of these tumors requires different tumor markers. Also, poorly differentiated and anaplastic thyroid cancers often lose the ability to make thyroglobulin and alternate follow-up methods are necessary in these cases. Make sure you understand the importance of thyroglobulin testing and how it should be used to follow up your thyroid cancer. Along with thyroid hormone replacement and the right follow-up imaging, both of which are covered in other tutorials, measurement of thyroglobulin is a key piece of your thyroid cancer follow-up care. For thyroidparathyroid.com, I'm Dr. Stephen Hodak, wishing you the best of luck with your thyroid cancer follow-up.